Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we're going to do some multiplayer online racing. Three more races today then, starting with this first one at the Clayridge circuit. Three A-class races today then and I'm going to be racing in the Hammerhead RS for this first one. Six laps around this circuit, full field of 16 cars. Got to be very careful up this first section. Comes up a hill here into a very tight corner cars everywhere just got to try and keep us facing forward yeah massive crashes as always cars going off and we've come out of that very well up and away with the front group in fourth place path splits here I prefer this uh, right hand route I think they're both quite quick this this path is slightly slower out but uh, is slightly quicker in if that makes sense and we are still up in fourth place as we come towards the final corner and onto the straight Car fairly close in behind us as well. Hopefully not close enough though to dive bomb us into this corner. Right, as soon as you start coming up this hill, got to break fairly early, earlier than you think. Yep, car in front has gone wide and we can make up a place here. Just got to watch they don't dive back up the inside. I've taken that quite nice and neat though. And we are up into third place. Okay, blind hill here. Turn it in left. Oh, and was momentarily up in second place there, but yeah, as I said, that other route is much quicker coming out of the corner. Slower going in, though. That was our best lap and the fastest lap of the race as well, so that's uh, a positive thing. We know we're pretty quick around here compared with the other drivers by the look of it. Always good to know. We've all taken this path this time. And I think we're both closing up on the leader, just very slightly. There's the gap back to fourth place. Yeah, about five seconds now. And another fastest lap for ourselves. Second has gone slightly wide. They've left a gap and we can get past our real wheels on the mud as well. But we've got just enough grip to make that overtake stick. They're still right in behind us though. and get the power down need a good corner here slid it around the corner and onto the straight managed to open up a slight gap back right can we catch this leader they've not made any mistakes at all at the moment that's a road cutter they're in by the look of it so they are driving that extremely well closing in not going to make a move there Hopefully we'll get a better opportunity than that with any luck. Just got to watch that third place is still not far behind. There's still only a second or two behind us. Whoops. Got that a little bit wrong. And now we're starting to come into back markers as well as we start the final lap. They've gone up the inside. We can use the other car as a break. And they've gone wide as well. Yeah, I think the, uh, the back marker put them off slightly and they went into that corner a bit quick and as I say we could actually use that other car as a as a brake to slow ourselves down second place still pretty close in behind us third not too far behind I'm guessing it's the hammerhead now in second I, I guess we'll have a look when we come around this corner see what the gaps like yet yeah, they're both there fighting for the second position but we have grabbed a win in the first race of the day 35.5 second fastest lap for ourselves. There was another hammerhead down in fourth that was a second quicker. But yeah, excellent race by the road cutter and it did manage to secure the second place. Today, second race today then and we're at the Furwood Motor Centre. Six laps around here. 13 of us in this one. Oh, big spin, and we are over on our side. Come on, keep it going round. Back onto the track. Don't tell me I've got to reset. Surely not. Ah, no. Well, that's about as bad a start as you could hope for. Got not wide over onto a side, up, over into the rough. But why it wouldn't let me come back on, I don't know. It's not as if I was cutting the corner or uh, taking a shortcut. 
Well, there's one place made up. We've got a lot of uh, recovery to do here. Up into ninth already, actually, and there's another car just disappeared as well, straight in front of us. Still ninth. I don't know what happened with that car. Just vanished. We've got a good line here, though, and we can make another place up. That car's going very slow. We can sneak up the inside into this really tight left-hand hairpin bend and towards the finish about as bad a start as we could have had then on that first corner but we've recovered quite quickly I mean leader is a massive nine seconds ahead hopefully we can make up some more places though we've up the inside of this speedy here and that car's gone wide in front as well they're going to be blocking the track Whoa, damn bad mistake took my eye off the uh, track a little bit there as I was watching where that speed beast was going they've also slowed me down as I've been trying to get back onto the track still in 6th though but again that's more time wasted leader is now an enormous what 15 16 seconds ahead something like that back in behind this speedy we should yeah we've got a lot more power than that car obviously the speed is very nippy very good at getting round corners but uh, we should be quicker got to watch this still in behind us that looks like fourth place just ahead three seconds ahead love this corner here sort of a blind left hand as you go into it and then you just it's like a corkscrew round Pulled away nicely from that speedy behind us. And I think that might be second, third and fourth ahead. I think it might be, so we've still got chances here to make up a few more places. Start of lap four. And that was our best lap and the fastest lap of the race, so we are quick around here. If we can <laughs> if we can manage to stay off the grass, then we are quick up around the outside here this is going to be dangerous so I'm just going to ease off slightly hopefully get a better chance of overtaking on the inside round here push our way through and can we take this corner tight as well oh a little too tight really but we're okay right up behind third place now then another good lap for ourselves then not quite as quick as our previous best though got a good line through there as well I don't know if that is second place in front of this hammerhead or not well we're gonna find out because they've spun them out yes it was so we are up into third and right in behind second come on back marker don't get in the way now leader is still a massive 12 seconds ahead looks like second place might be the best we can hope for as we come up towards the start of the last lap still a good gap behind us to fourth so unless we make a mistake we've hopefully secured third but can we nick one more place on this final lap we know we're quick round here just not quite close enough at the moment to try anything Right, got to be fast through here. Always a chance through this section if you can get it. Good, that wasn't too bad, but a couple more back markers coming up as well. Might work for us, might work against us. Again, I've taken that nicely, but that car in front has not made a mistake yet at all on this final lap. Driven it perfectly, not given us even a chance. Thrown that in as quick as I can, but we're going to drift wide. Can I get the run? going to take that corner tight maybe a gap no no third place really enjoyable race though and a good battle there at the end trying to nick a second 46.6 fastest lap for ourselves that was the fastest lap and only 10 finishes in the end a couple of cars dropped out during the race third and final race for today's video is going to be at the pine hills raceway off we go then 15 of us six laps
chaos as always at the first corner I'm still facing forwards that's something despite the attempts of other cars to spin me round well we are right near the back but as I say at least we're on the track and at least we're facing forwards whoa there's an undertake car flipped up into the air and we shot underneath and we've made a few places there and we're up into fifth now in behind this lead group Fortunately, the, the lead cars didn't get chance to pull away too much while we were stuck in that mid-pack chaos. Whoa! Sorry, mate. Up into third now. Right, need to be quick around this corner. You can take this one flat out, but I normally just lift slightly to make sure the car doesn't hit the barriers on the right-hand side. We've got a nice gap behind us as well, so we can break with confidence into this tight corner and maybe get up the inside of the boomer just push them wide and we're up into second well all things considered with the uh, the chaos at the start of the race we've managed to progress pretty nicely since then can we catch this lead up plenty of laps to do it and at the moment couple of seconds gap back to third place so no worries on any of the corners bit of a janky line through that corner but better through that one I think the leader if anything has pulled ahead slightly that's got to be our best lap yeah but it's not the fastest lap of the race so it does look like the leader is very quick just going to have to try and put consistent laps in and hope they maybe make a mistake obviously at some point we're probably going to be coming into bat markers probably not yet a little bit early for that there's a car off on the side of the track there actually yeah looking at the map there as the track loops back to the left I could see a bat marker a little way ahead so maybe on this next lap the leader might come into the first real bat marker on track Let's have a look at the gap as we come across the line this time. I think, again, if anything, they're slightly further ahead than they were. Just about five seconds, I'd say, as we cross the line. So we'll see at the end of this lap what the gap's like. Not seeming to have any problems keeping the cars behind away, but... Uh, not closing in on this leader at all when I mean, the gaps come down now but I think that's just as the as the track winds and bends around the the gap goes up and down but we'll see as we come across the, come across the finish line what the actual gap is always find this corner a bit of a tricky one you always have to break a little bit more than you think you need to Yeah, it was a very similar gap to the time before but maybe just slightly more than five seconds so I think we're gonna really struggle to catch this leader unless they unless they make a mistake or uh, or get caught up in problems seven seconds back to third place fourth about 11 seconds down nothing we can do other than try and put a good final lap in keep the pressure on so at least if they do make a mistake we're there to take advantage not really anything else we can do apart from that really enjoyed the races again today though some real good fun ones and close racing okay yeah gap was about four and a half seconds this time so we we were probably slightly quicker on that lap but I'm guessing they've uh, just taking their foot off the pedal ever so slightly they know unless something goes wrong that they've got this one hasn't been an enormous amount of back markers and the ones that there have been 
they have uh, taken care of quite easily whoops a little bit narrow there don't flip over the car now excellent race by the winner faultless drive by them and we are going to take a second place let's see what these fastest laps were like then 52.3 second for ourselves our leader was just over 52 seconds so we weren't much slower but they, they just had that that uh, slight speed advantage on us well that is the end of this week's online racing video i hope you enjoyed the three races if you did please like and subscribe and see you soon